Good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon, wherever you may be. All right, let's have a look. Hello, Angie. It's so weird seeing you here from chat, but not here. And if you're not really here, that's okay, because I know you got up really early for Renee's um, stream with Shell and Ashley, which I can't wait to look back on. I hope it was awesome. Um, good morning or afternoon. Well, no, you would be good afternoon, Thea. Oh. Okay, let's have a look at what we are doing. Hello, Sunet. Oh, another part of the world. Good. Ah, what are you? Night. Good night to you. I'm trying to think where you would be. I think, it, I think it's night time in the, the South Africanness. Um, so let's um while we wait for people to wander on the donder in, I'm gonna I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going, yeah, evening. I knew it was kind of right. I knew it was I was in the in the realms of correctness. I am going to start on might do some plinths while we're waiting for um people to come on in let's see if i can find colors that i want no that one that one um do, 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 that one. Let's go with them. Okay. All right. I'm going to come in with yellowish gray. So they probably won't even be able to tell what I'm doing. But that's okay. It's no different to normal. No idea what I'm doing. Just making it up as per usual. All right. Okay. So what's everyone been doing? How's packing going, Angie? <laughs> or are we not going to talk about it? <sighs> so if those that weren't aware, Angie's down at her house in... Um, down south in Melbourne, and she is packing up all of her her stuff to ship up to here. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, where am I going to have room for this? <laughs> Kelly, hello. Basically, I've just said, sort downstairs out yourself. Just, just sort it out. Make it yours. Because I can close the door and pretend it's not there. Yeah. Oh, copy and computer files too. Ugh. No, God. Um, oh, I realised too, that hard drive you left up here, the, the red one, I meant to ask last night, that's got all of those um, those digital files on it, doesn't it, That from the whatever place that you were talking about. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. Jamie, hello. Kale, kale. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying. And I'm going to make Hercules over here um, out of the kind of marble concrete as well. Marble concrete, great definition of rock formation there. Marble concrete. Mm-hmm. But anyway, oh, this thing. Um, this dude, that thing, has it got the digital files on it? Thing, thing and jiggy. I saw it the other day and I'm like, um, is that what that, that is? Hey, Sue, how's it going? So, yes, I'm going to make Hercules kind of just be part of the rock, basically. Because 
he's mean and he tricked Atlas. So I'm turning him into stowed. Oh, it's an empty one. Okay. All right. All right. I just saw it and I was like, oh, I didn't know what it was. And I used the Japanese ch -ch -ch um, yesterday. It was fun. I was like, if anyone does know, I was talking about a screw punch. Holy maker. Good technical terms. All right. All right. Let's come in with raw warm grey twenty. Nothing like working with grey on a grey a black and white image because you can really see what I'm doing. Um, I've tried to lessen the exposure and stuff today so you can actually see, but um, we'll see what what happens. Hi, oh, how's everyone? It's so much louder than others. Yeah, there is that eye. That was one of the upgrades I made when I moved here was I didn't want the dude that used to come around and mow my lawn for 20 bucks um, isn't in this area. So I was like, Ugh. so I had to get a mower. And I was like, eh, I could fix the, you know, good old four stroke, two stroke mower that I had. Or I could go get a Ryobi battery powered one. So I went and got a battery powered one and it's so quiet. It's so light. It's so strange. And I'm like, this feels weird. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I feel like I could mow at five in the morning and not annoy people. It's very strange. But do you want to see my river this morning? I'm going to. Um, oh, God. And you're listening to me while your head hurts, Jamie? Oh, that's not a good start to a day. Um, my river this morning. Oh, because it's obviously winter here now. So it's quite cool in the mornings. But I went out on the deck this morning and, like, the, the fog is coming up off the river and it looks so eerie and so cool. But yeah, that's 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 the horrible view I have from my um from my deck. It's very difficult looking out on that. <laughs> but yeah, that was it this morning. And it was so nice, so beautifully nice as the sun was rising. Sorry, it was just one of those things. Um hey Alex, eating a late lunch. Oh gosh, it's 7 a.m. here. I have had some chocolate, just so you know, Jamie. But I haven't eaten much. <laughs> it's like I got to talk for two hours. I need something. I need something. I think this is going to be one of these images that aren't going to look right until it all comes together. Like you sit there and go, uh, I think it's going to pop once the background's done more than anything. Um, Oh, you, that is fine, Christina, and have a lovely time at your party. And I'm okay if you just go to your party. <laughs> That's something. Always need chocolate, Wicca. Always chocolate. Always chocolate. Okay. Um, my shopping exists on how regularly I go shopping is on the chocolate supply in my house. Okay, warm grey 50. 
Um, Because I refuse to buy like, you know, as much chocolate as I would actually eat in a fortnight kind of thing in one hit because people would, I think, judge. So I go in in, in, in spots. <laughs> Maybe because I don't need to see it in one hit. Um. <laughs> yeah I, i'm looking forward to going back and having seeing how that stream went would have been an absolutely crack up but i was snoozing and then But, um, oh, but it was really, it's actually quite, it was quite strange when Andy wrote the other day that she wants to come home and I'm like, oh, this is home, which is kind of just, yeah, I had a, I had a little, little moment. But then for me, I've got like, you know, my mum's place will always be home too. So I've got two homes, my mum's home and then the home that I live in. Oh, nice. See you, Thea. Steak and Brussels sprouts, two things I actually love, enjoy. Oh, talking about love. Mm, I made pumpkin soup for dinner. <sighs> spent all day in the slow cooker just melding flavors together oh it's thick and chunky oh i haven't pulverized it quite to the point where it's pure liquid it's just got some still got some substance to it oh, great pumpkin soup and it's like yes It's like thoroughly been enjoying that with some toasted garlic naan bread. <laughs> I you know me so well, Jamie. Um, yeah, it, it's it's the the yep. I like things put away. <laughs> I think I get more enjoyment out of organizing the things I buy than the things I buy. Did I tell you that that's what I did at work? I think I did tell you that I spent two days organising the um, art storeroom at work. <laughs> and I think people thought I was weird because I volunteered. And I'm like, oh, well, sounds fun. And I did. I had a ball. But, yeah, I think they think I'm insane. And I'm like, well, they're not wrong. Kind of slightly crazy. Well, I'm still drinking. <laughs> oh, yum. Sausage beer. Oh. Not so much. I, well, I'm not a drinker for it to begin with, but beer I've never been able to do. And when I used to play rugby, um, which is, I guess, I don't know, those that everywhere but the um, US would understand what I mean by rugby. Um, but when I used to say football, they, everyone used to drink beer, and I'm like, "Ew, gross! No thanks, I'll pass." I could never understand it. I get that it was cheap, but ugh. oh, and then everyone's like, oh, "You, you develop a taste for it." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll pass." But I've never developed a taste for alcohol, so I um. I haven't been very much of a drinker all my life. 
And even less as I've gotten older. I think, you know, as you get older, you really don't care anymore. You don't even pretend that you want to go out and drink. You're like, yeah, no, I'm just not. <laughs> Do you want to go out and have some drinks? No, no, I really don't. Quite happy to say no. You go, have fun. I'll stay at home, thanks. Whereas when you're younger, you're like, oh, yeah, you've got to go out because that's the thing to do. Go night clubbing and all of that. I'm like, nah. Emily turns 18 at the end of this year and she's like, are you going to come to the nightclub with me? And I'm like, I have lived in this town for, what, nearly eight years at that time and I still have never stepped foot in the nightclub. And I'm like, do I have to? <laughs> do I have to go? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, same with her. Oh, well, at desk cup of shoes, nice, Alex. Beer, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just saying I can't drink it. My, um, my stepdad loves it and my mum will drink it. But, um, it's just one of those things. I was like, I don't know whether it's the bitterness or, or what. I'm not sure. Um, all right, I'm going to come in with 70% warm grey. I'm just going to start actually putting in some. Shape to these um, columns. Oh, yuck! See, yeah, even when Dad and Mum drank beer, I was like, I'd go ha go have the like the, the you know the mouthful, and I no. Nah. But Mum, when Mum had the wine, the good old Asti Riccadonna. Oh, I used to love having some of that. Or the West Coast coolers. I still, I am so, okay. If I go to a pub for dinner, um, oh, pub, um, a bar for dinner, um, I'm still known to get myself a West Coast cooler. Because I still enjoy a West Coast. Just saying. I'm like, so, yeah, Asti Riccadonna, West Coast Cool are basically lolly water wine. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's how I like it. It's like, hmm. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I walk around with my, my West Coast cooler and I feel all feel all teenagerish. And it's got like, you know, about 0.2% alcohol. So um I'm like, I think. It's a bit blurry. I just noticed. Hold on, let's see if I can auto focus our way maybe out of the blur. Out of the blur. Um, yeah, the so I, I have that thinking, oh, well, at least I can drive home.
Hmm, I've got a child up somewhere. I don't know which one. I think it's Georgia. I heard movement. I'm like, it's early to be here in movement on a weekend. Oh, 10 minutes. Woo! No, Andy's still another, just over another week away. So you'll have you'll have another week of just me alone. Sorry. I know it's just no fun. But I um, I made dinner the other night and um it was just after Andy had left. And I automatically just set a place and I'm like, I just giggled. And then the girls were laughing at me. And I'm like, yeah, I just said I just didn't even think about it. Just got out the right, you know, four sets of knives and forks and four plates kind of thing. I was like, oops. Oh, starting to look like Rockies. Oh, <laughs> uh, it should be Alex, honestly. Hey, Azra, how you doing? Oh, season of flu, nice. Yeah, that's. I got my flu shot the other week, so hopefully, I, I, uh, I, I'm still waiting for the fact that I'm going to be that lucky person that ends up with COVID and the flu together. That'll be me. Because um, I have, it's been many, many years since I've had the flu and I still haven't um, got my share of COVID yet. So that'll be what happens in my life. I can see it. At least the girls are old enough to fend for themselves if that does in fact happen. So I don't have to worry so much. Last time I got, Last time, and the only time I've actually ever been really sick was when I got pneumonia, double pneumonia and bronchitis. Um, and that was when Georgia was five. And um, that was that was tough because my mum was away, my ex-husband was away, so I was pretty much stuck with trying to look after a five-year-old when I couldn't even walk to the toilet without... Um, being a mess and um luckily george has been a fairly independent child since you know since she was born so she was able to get herself snacks and and so forth but and you know do all of that but i had to wait for a few days before my mum got home and it was it was not not good and my mum walked into my house and she's like, oh, you really have been sick. You really are sick. And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> for me to ask for help, I'm sick. And um, it was, so I, um, I am dreading if that happens this time. But like I said, the girls are old enough now that if I do get sick, um, it's not going to be. Um, like that, they can look after themselves. Oh, really? Whole house, yeah. Um, I, I would like to have it happen before you get home, Angie. Then I wouldn't have to worry about making sure you're safe. Uh, but yeah, it'll be, um, but that'll be what happens, absolutely, because that's just how it rolls with me. If I'm going to get sick, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it well. You know, the perfectionist nature in me goes, "No, if you get sick, you you make sure you get sick, sick. Don't you get no pretend sick? You get sick." But honestly, I have been very lucky in my life that I haven't, apart from that. 
I, I, I don't get ill very often. Um, yeah, it's and and they've said that um, the the flu is like they call it a super flu because it's had two years to just fester and figure out its plan of attack to come back once people started going near each other again. Um, and it's like, yeah, I'm back with a vengeance. You reckon COVID's bad? I'm going to slam you with my fluness, even though the flu is actually another coronavirus, just saying. Um, it is a coronavirus, just a different, um, different variation of it. But it's like, I'm, I'm coming back. And I'm going to hit you. Hit you hard. But I, I've never gotten the measles, never got chicken pox. I'm what? they call a viral carrier. So I tend to be asymptomatic if I do get things. But, um, yeah, my mum's the same. And I think george has gotten that as well. Or it could just be that I'm really stubborn and I have been sick in my life and just refuse to acknowledge it and just moved on. There is that as well. I went out to visit my dad um, after stream last week and, <laughs> and my dad's just had... <laughs> Just had a, a, a um, some surgery, and um, which is you know, and he's so he's recovering from that. And I was taking up a load of bolts, and his property was so wet. And um, I was taking up a load of bolts up onto his onto his table, and um, slipped on the on the tiles and went. And I'm like, as I'm falling, going, I don't want to drop this thing of bolts. So I managed to put the bolts on the table, then fell, did my knee, all that kind of stuff. But I was more worried about my dad trying to bend over to help me than me actually have bit, having fallen over. And so I'm like, Dad's like, are you okay? And I'm like, get away from me. Don't you bend over down to me. I'm fine. Move, move. To go. Don't you worry about me. You watch it after yourself. And I said to Angie, I'm like, and you see where I get the stubbornness from? Hey, Ronnie. How's it going? meeting going on with Oh, yeah, I know. I know. They're all, but the river this morning, it's gone up since now. But you should have seen it. Come have a look at the picture. It was so pretty. We we're all out watching it. Um, That's cute. It was like all of the fog down on Whoa. the. Yeah, how cool does it look? That looks like. It kind of looks like, yeah, like the eeriness of the. Yeah, that the, looks like a. It's the same thriller. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. But yeah, the pets are all just sitting out there looking out the window, watching each other. What I don't know. Um, yeah, you 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 lurk while you do adult things. Adult things, I know, so much fun. I do. I've been doing adult things. I had to go. I had to go. Me, why I volunteer for things, I don't know. But, yeah, I had to go do adult things on a sad day yesterday. And then I was, like, left early because I wanted to go do non-adult things and go to a thrift store before it closed and then got to the thrift store and it was 50% off everything. So did I leave with more things that I actually wanted? Yes. But I was, like, because it's in another town and... Yeah, because I'm talking to Americans, I know, so I call it a thrift store so that they understand. If I call it the op shop, it's like, so I try to speak Americanisms on my stream. So I'm getting judged by my daughter for calling it a thrift store. Because <laughs> we just call it an op shop here. Um, so she's judging me, which I think is a bit rude. Just say.
Um, yeah, so what did I get? So basically the other week I stopped in. Oh, oh okay. All right. Formal dresses, okay? My life has been about formal dresses at the moment, prom dresses, because um, Em's got her prom formal this year. And um, so I know how much I paid for her formal dress, okay? It was not cheap. But the brands and all that she was trying on, I was at the at the um, op shop, the thrift store the other day, and I found one of the brands that I know are over five hundred dollars for a dress. Found it for five dollar, so I bought it home, and that's that's Georgia in it. Oh, hold on, lost it. So that's Georgia in it. My my five dollar. Oh, trying to get it so the angle five dollar. Formal dress. And then, then M's in it <laughs> with, with it clamped because she's a midget. But, yeah, I was like, um, but what I did get was some panola rolls for junk journaling, um, some old piano rolls. I found them. Like, I, I've never seen them in my life. Uh, and I've seen them on some channels and I'm like, I didn't even know those things existed. And I went to the off shop and there was a few. So I grabbed a couple and then Angie's like, you should have grabbed more, blah, 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 blah. And then I thought, oh, well, I'm in, in the other town. I'll go have a look. And then it was all 50% off. So I grabbed what was left. No one else had grabbed them. So, so that's mainly what I got. But yeah. Oh, didn't I send you the Emily photos? I don't know. Hey, shall you cook and eat all you like? Uh, so I was then trying to convince Emily that she didn't really want the new formal dress. How about she take the five dollar op shop one, and I'll just get it, um, get it taken in. <laughs> I was not, that was not an acceptable um, thing. So I was told no, <laughs> which I thought was quite rude. I'm just saying. Kind of expected it, but um, but I was like, could have just pretended to consider it for two seconds. <laughs> but I did find a wicked pair of shoes. Um, that are slightly too big, but I've got a thing for her, for her formal dress. Angie's seen her formal dress. I won't show her formal dress. I respect that. That's that's a secret. Uh, but I found these shoes at the op shop yesterday, and look at them. <laughs> hey, Angie, how good are they going to go if she chooses to wear them? But they're a good brand of shoes and in good condition, so... I was like, grab them. Um. All right. Um, what do I want to do? I'm like, I don't know. Do I want to do dragon or do I do, want to finish the rocks off so at least then I can just focus on this? I think I want to do the rocks because that's going to be the way I hold it and that way I'm not coming over this. That might have to be the choice whether you like it or not. Sorry, people. I'm just, you know, pretending to give you I say, but I'm not really. Uh... Alright. Okay. Yeah, rocks then dragon. That's what I reckon too. Okay, let's come in with light umber. The rocks won't take long. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot there's plinth down here. Oh, I'll do that later. Winchester looks drunk. Winchester looks drunk? Why does he look drunk? Just the, his eyes. He, look, he looks like he wants to sleep. Yeah, but like one eye was like half like the other one. I'm just going to do these plinths while I'm thinking about it. I forgot this one too. Oh, I'm so useless. It's like... Um... Ears. Did you know that you can actually get a school scarf? Nice. Pretty much got one. My Ravenclaw scarf would be school scarf. Yeah, I get that. Really? Not available yet. It's, e it's even available in... um. In Australia, but yeah, I I'm only getting books that I really want now too. Did I order? <laughs> Mainly because I really like the. And I bought myself a coloring book that's coming on its way of um, botanicals and flowers. So we'll see what that looks like when it gets here. Um, Edith Holden one. All right. Sorry, I'm just doing these plinthy things. Um, oh, Winchester, you're so cute. He looks very manly there in his plaid scarf. Oh, I'm like, oh, what am I doing? You guys know what I'm doing? Um, what am I doing with my life? Oh, that, and that's the thing. I agree, Alex. Just I just like flipping through his books because his illustrations are just phenomenal. Like, would love to have a tattoo done by him. As well as one done by Nick. That would be to have a curvy tattoo and a neck tattoo. Oh. Would both be amazing. Nick Philbert. Ugh. So I've put a mat underneath this today, which I hoping stops the the shake of the desk because I was playing some things and it, it is actually my desk, but I'm I'm hoping by putting a rubber mat underneath it absorbs some of the movement and um, prevents the image from shaking as much. So you'll have to let me know if it's it's kind of worked. Because it was shaking a lot last week. Oh, yeah, Caroline attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah.
No, yeah, I'm with you. Shell will just dive right in. I think he was one of the main one, big ones I diverse did too. Just that. And with Kirby, I think, and I think you'd find most people tell you that, it's just you work in stages with Kirby. You know, you focus on one thing, get it done, focus on another thing, get it done. And then um, and before you know it, it comes together. Now let's go back to the rocks. And I am deliberately being super messy here. Please don't judge. I'm, I'm, I'm embracing my five-year-oldness here and I'm just going crazy. This is light umber. Good night, Astro. Look after yourself, sweetheart. Well, yeah, true. True, Angie. But I, I was testing it lot during the week, and it, it's definitely the desk um, as well. Could be you shaking the floor. But no, that's good. Um, um, so, yeah, sorry, I don't know if I said this is dark umber. <laughs> I was just wanting to get lay down a little bit of colour to give the other pencils some slide. Just making it slicky. Mm. <sighs> it's been um work's been pretty quiet this week. Uh, Been a little bit of a moment. My principal still, he's only got four weeks, three weeks left to go, but he's still being the reason why, you know. But anyway, so that's been interesting to work with. I've um, had to do a few things behind the scene as well, again there, to um, basically not make the last few weeks completely unbearable. So so hard. I don't know if you guys have ever had to deal with bullying and, and that kind of stuff in your um as an adult. It's it's a whole different kettle of fish. And when you you're trying to stand up for the advocacy of your of staff and oh, yeah. It's um it's been a week. He used to 
He's like, oh, well, huh? He's looking like an old man. Um, oh, yeah. No, I'm okay. Like, the, the, it's nothing. I basically, you try to get things done, but without having to deal with talking to the person. Um, done nothing to me. No, no, no. Um, nothing's been done to me this time around. But usually I'd be very just barge in and be like, do this. But I just, I can't. I don't want to have any communications with with him. Um, so it's... But you get everyone coming in complaining about things and stuff and you're like, oh, this, yeah. yeah. But, um... Oh, oh, that's adorable. Oh, Winchester, you're so cute. Oh, I did redo it because you slip it out. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. But there, there's, there's, there's Winchester. <laughs> he was comfy on the couch and then George is messing with him now. They're looking a bit cute. Yeah, it does. It makes life just so difficult. And because, I mean, anyway, you know, there's certain things I've got confidentiality, so there's only so much I could say. But, oh, I just... Three more weeks. <sighs> thanks yeah yeah thanks shell and that's it like it's it's been a three-year battle um where i've been trying to advocate for my staff you know that my colleagues it's um it's been been long i just hope that whoever they get in next term um has is is good because i just want i want some moments of not having to do it <laughs> oh gosh storm's like really i'm quite comfortable on the couch this is why our pets get cranky because we interrupt their com comfortableness if she sits on top of me then I yeah, I don't know either. Um, Jamie, I, I really don't. Uh, but, you know, I just keep going, well, I just won't be that person. <laughs> uh, yeah, she hates you with this. She's like, oh, my God, you can't, you, she's... Oh, you! If she scratches you, don't you blame me? <laughs> Not even. There was. That's why I tried it with Winchester because I knew she'd behave like that. Yeah, well, I don't know why you even tried it with her. She was so comfy on the couch, just living her couch life. Then you messing with her. Um. I'm but yeah, no, the birds are. Oh yeah, they're always just babbling on out there. Uh, and then we got a Caspi on. Caspi, do you want to wrap, be wrapped up? 
Casper's like, you do whatever. I'm just Casper's the one that you could get away with. You could dress him up and he wouldn't care. But seriously, pets in my house are spoiled. Just saying. The one thing I do appreciate about Kirby is he puts in all of his shade marks, which actually makes colouring him quite easy. It's like, I'll just colour the lines. Just colour within the lines. Oh, make sure I'm in screen. I've decided these pencils aren't horrible. They're not too bad. They remind me a bit of the um, brain that kick in, kick in. Um, Shapir Farbins. Hey, Pam, how's it going? <laughs> well, what were you just thinking? I'm confused. Okay. I don't know what I said. I was babbling. <laughs> mm. Oh, about Kirby and, and his shade lines makes it. Is that no? I don't know. I don't know. I'm lucky if I remember to breathe. That being said, I forgot a class yesterday uh, on Friday. They're like, someone comes in, do you know you've got a supervision now? No, what? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a class. <sighs> so I owned my mistake. I sent an email thanking my colleagues that ran around sorting it out because we all make mistakes. Uh, but it's not hard to also thank people if they've figured it out for you. Because I was at fault. It was all of my error. So I was like, I'm so sorry for wasting your time because I know how precious time is as a teacher. Oh, so... Um. All right, I've got a bit of the, that was the dark umber. Now I'm going to come in with um, some uh, sepia, sepia. Sepia sounds posh. Sepia. Ah, sepia. Mm. And I ain't no posh person. <laughs> <laughs> Far too big for that. 
Although, I am a little posh in the fact that kind of looking forward to my next conference in Brisbane, having my two-bedroom apartment back in the city <laughs> and not my dodgy uh, motoring on the, on, the, on the freeway. I have decided that my um, my time away needs to come with uh, five stars <laughs> or four at a minimum. <laughs> uh, I don't want no three star. Uh... <gasps> yeah, sorry, AG. It's really pretty to your partner. Andy doesn't get isn't coming on this trip because I'm taking um taking the girls and one of um M's friends. <laughs> the dodgy motor in so not even motoring motor in um so i don't know dodgy hotel on the highway you know those do you really want to be sure that you want to lay on those sheets kind of place <laughs> one of them Sorry, my Aussie-nisms. <laughs> but with me, it could be anything that I'm saying. Let's get real. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. The sheets were clean. The bedspread's not so much. I will admit that. Yes, you're right, Angie. The sheets were clean. Everything else, I'm like, mm. the bedspread's definitely not. But that's okay. The good thing about um, getting the apartments in the city is they have a kitchen so I can take down things for breakfast and stuff so the kids don't actually have to spend all of my money on food. And they can hang out there um, so they can go out for a bit and then come back and hang out and just chill. Yeah. Um. They're not stuck out doing stuff all day kind of thing because I'm um, at work. But it should be fun because I'm going, the conference that I'm going to is is for women. Um, so it should be quite empowering. When her mom travels, she brings her own So, yeah, well... Normally, the places that I stay, that's not a concern. But, um, yeah, at this this place, I wouldn't have minded my own pillowcases and stuff. But like like Angie said, the sheets were clean. I'll give it that. They were. Um, and the apartment itself wasn't the, the – the, the, not the apartment, the um, room itself wasn't unbearable. I'm just spoiled and posh when it comes to – my accommodation likes. Basically, if I'm going to be sleeping like that, I'd rather be camping. That's different.
<sighs> yeah, spoiled and posh, totally. Well, the, you know, it's become a thing here that um, they don't even have covers on the bedspreads as such anymore. It's just, just sheets. And, um, you know, you, you may put a blanket on or, or something like that that's kept in the cupboard or, or whatever. But because I'm, we're also, I'm also in Queensland, Australia, you know, pretty much it's hot <laughs> most of the time. But, yeah, so I like that because you can tell that the sheets are clean because they're the things that you see. They're not hidden underneath a cover. But, um, yeah, it's, ugh. but there was no bed bugs. Like it, it was actually, it wasn't, I make it out like it was horrible. It really wasn't. Um, it was fine. I'm just spoiled in, in what I like in my accommodation now. What's a bedspread? A quilt. Um, yeah, a quilt. It's usually when I call it a doona that people are like, what is a doona? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. All right, coming in with just a little bit of black in some, yeah. Um, with Duna. Because that's what they're called here, just go grab your Duna. Um, but then I forget that that's probably just most likely Aussiness. It's, it's probably our Aussie version of the duvet. <laughs> Duna. Yeah, the Duna. But a Duna is, so for us, a quilt is one layer. So anything that's got one layer, you know, it's all sewn together kind of thing. That's a quilt. But a doona is when you've got the outside cover and you put the padded insert inside of it, you know, and you can wash the, the cover, the doona cover. Um, so, yeah. So in summer on my bed is just the actual cotton doona cover. Um and then in autumn and spring, I'll put a quilt on because it's got like, you know, and then um, winter, I throw the doona inside the doona cover. There you go. I'm sure that is helpful to nobody. But I know what I'm talking about. I see Aussiness. <laughs> Not arsiness, Aussiness. Yeah. Although I do a lot of arsiness as well, but that's different.
So I'm just focusing on defining ridges at the moment. Uh, yeah, no, I am. Um, I am. I grew up with these that kind of stuff as well, unless like, we're camping, and that's like I said, camping's different. Camping, but even camping, you know, it was always clean anyway because we took our own stuff, obviously camping. But um, it's. I've just grown up with, you know, I have nurses for parents. I have grown up with cleanliness. This is like my friend come over the other day. And she's like, one of these days I'm going to come over and your bed is not going to be made. And I'm like, if my bed is not made, I am sick. I said, that will be your first indication that I am not good. And I went, because I said, I said, it's just been dr drilled into me that the first thing you do when you get out of bed in the morning is make your bed. And I said, my house doesn't feel tidy unless my bed's made. <laughs> um. Oh, the birds. Oh, yeah, the birds are just, um, they, oh, yeah, I don't even hear them anymore. They're just part of my life. Come for the bird song and the Tammy song. <laughs> bird song's much more in tune. Um, yeah, that's and that's how it is in my house, Pam. There's no exceptions unless you are sick. Um, but even then, I'd have to be sick, sick not to make my bed, like basically at the point where I'm just spending all day in bed. Because I will even, if I decided after stream to go back to bed, I would unmake my bed and then when I'd had a nap, get up and remake it. Um, but generally a nap, it's a nap if I don't get underneath the sheets. I don't know. I don't know how you guys just define a nap. But if I have a nap on my bed, I'm above the sheets, like above the quilt. It stays made. Then that's a nap. But if I pull the blankets down, like sheets down, then I'm having a sleep. <laughs> the stupid things that we do. <laughs> Oh, your mum got a puppy. Oh, I can't wait to see photos. Oh, puppy. Love puppy. I love puppies, kittens, whatever. All the babies. Any baby animal. Baby humans are okay too, but baby animals preferred. What kind of puppy? Oh, Angie just asked it. What kind of puppy? I want to know. I want details now. I want what kind of puppy? You can't talk about a puppy without further telling us what is is. Oh, wait up, got photos. Oh my god, look at him! Oh, look, look at its face! Oh, so good to oh, you're adorable. Adorable. Oh, chicks, yay! 
I need to get some chicks because my I don't even know what my chooks do anymore, but they certainly don't lay any eggs. I'm like, I think they might um, need to go to someone else's home where they might get purposed for something else, but I don't need to know about it. And I need to get some chicks and hopefully some eggs again because at the moment I'm just feeding them for the sake of them existing. And it's like, hmm. As much as, you know, I like my chooks, I do actually like the eggs that they provide too. All right. Okay, I'm going to come back in with that light umber that we started with. Maud. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh. gorgeous that face it just makes me think of um men in black but and i see a little french bulldog Here comes a man in black. Now the song's in my head. Galaxy Defenders. Comes a man in black. Boom. Oh, I'm off screen. I'm off screen. Totally just went completely out of the line then. Nice, cute. Nugget, love it. Oh, that's that's lovely. But Maud is such a, it's it's such a posh name for a French boy. It suits Maud. But yeah, I'm thinking it's time for my chickens to go become somebody's dinner, just not mine, because I couldn't do that. Well, they may. But I say that, and the reality is, is that they'll probably spend the next few years of their lives happily in my yard, while I feed them, living their best life, not even having to provide because that's what I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I kind of gathered that it had to be a kid that picked Nugget. Because it's kind of cool. Nugget, windings, drumstick. They all work. 
They're good names. Good night, Sinet. Thank you for dropping in. Um, I, have, I hope you have a nice night's sleep. Oh, now I've just got men in black in my head. <sighs> what they're doing is nothing in the boxes. They never they never used to actually roost in them. They um used to roost out on the thing. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Well, let me figure it out. I have to have a look. I have to have a look one evening where they're actually roosting and see. We might need to put something else in. Um because I never ended up putting in the bumper bar when we moved because it's just difficult to get in there because usually you put it in over the top and that never happened. And they used to roost on that, but they've got the other roosting bar, but they might not be using it. Could be that. All right. So we're kind of getting to the point of dragon. Well, he's, what color dragon am I going to do? That is the question. What color dragon? Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to. Have to see. Yeah, because we, we've lost, the, obviously, a few of the chooks, so it could be that. Hmm. I don't know. We can always take out the um, boxes, too, because they're already just screwed in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want no rooster. No, thanks. The sheep in the early in the morning are enough. And the birds. It's like, yeah, nah. Hey, hey, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. How you doing? 
Long time no see. How was ya? Here we are discussing chooks. What an interesting topic of conversation for a stream. Chooks not laying eggs. <laughs> Love it. I know it has been. It's been a minute. I, I I must admit, I'm not as consistent as I used to, be, but it's just work and life. Um, so yeah, I, I get that. Okay, have we decided on a colour? Have we decided on a colour for the dragon? Should I work on the line while you decide on the dragon? Well, it's actually, it actually looks like a hydra. It's got a number of heads. So I think it's more a hydra than a dragon. Green? Okay. All righty. Greens it is. <laughs> Sorry, right, I haven't I don't catch many lives at the moment because I'm either sleeping or I'm at work, so Ah uh, the pit brush white. Do I have the pit? I do have it somewhere, I don't know where. Huh? Uh, I'd have to go looking for it. Where are my pits? Yeah, I do have it. I should do that. Um, all right, so I'm coming in with Chartreuse, Chartreuse, Chartreuse. Do I sound very French? Chartreuse. Luckily, Sunette's, Sunette's gone to um, gone to bed, so she doesn't. Although I don't know if she speaks French. I just think because I see Sonnet that I, I think French. I know. How stupid is that? Um, obviously, she speaks Afrikaans. I don't know. Just Sonnet always seems like French to me. You sound Scottish, yeah. I sound more Scottish than French. It's, it's totally true. Did you know I am 52% Scottish? Yeah, I think we all did get spoiled during lockdown. That's it. Um, oh yeah. And and the fact that I was home most of last year, but now I'm just yeah. 
back to doing 5 million things. Oh, hold on. I might be in there. All right. So if you ever wondered, apart from the fact that I like having a layer of pencil down for a colour, but I always try and do a, a base layer, basically so I know where I'm going, <laughs> what my intentions are. Um. Try and find all the bits, all the ears and the hands and the, the, you know, all of those things that tend to miss. So I always find if I put a colour down, then I miss them less. There's less chance. Now, I'm not saying I don't miss them because I do, but I have a better chance of seeing them. Hello. Hello, how are you all? Yeah. Oh, there's one up coming up out here. Oh my gosh, how many ads does this have? All right, I think that. Looks like it may be it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of get that, Catherine. Yeah, I agree. But then don't get me wrong. I, I, as a as an introvert by nature, I'm like, you know, I was never that adverse to them. I could still go out to go grocery shopping because, you know, chocolate. That was fun. <laughs> that's an essential so, all right let's come in with spring green Yeah, yeah. I always finish stream about nine. Hmm. I know my pinky went. So this is, if anyone's ever done makeup, and, um, Ashley's not here. She will attest to. <laughs> okay, it's 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 a um, it comes from makeup artistry 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 um if i'm you're working on fine details in makeup so if i'm trying to do like something small or like eyeliner or lip line that kind of stuff if i anchor if you anchor your pinky okay so if you anchor here it stops your hand from shaking um so it, it's called anchorage in um makeup artistry so because you don't want to put your whole hand on someone's face because you've been just been putting makeup on it. So you anchor your pinky and it um, it stabilizes your hand. So that's actually where it comes from. And yeah, it kind of does look posh. But you'll notice that the pinky only goes out when I'm working on fine details. When I'm doing basic everything kind of coloring, it doesn't go out as much. But you'll notice that I use it as a stabilizer when I'm working on fine details. Um, but that that's where it comes from. So people, and Shell, yeah, Shell will agree too, she's done um, makeup artistry as well. So it's, um, it, that, it's just one of those training things that you learn. And I was doing a large area. Well, there you go. Um, but yeah, usually it'll come out when I'm doing, um, doing details, but, um, 
it just depends, I guess. But then everything in Kirby is details. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But, yeah, that's kind of where it comes from. If I feel like I need some stability, it'll come out. Now I'm, like, conscious of it. I'm, like, I'll pull my pinky in. Pull it in. Put, put my pinky away. Hey, Pam, good morning, my darling. How are you? Maybe I just want to show off my little, my little pinky. Hello, 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 how are you? Make you focus on my pinky rather than the mess of my page. <laughs> no, my coffee. Yeah, me too, Shell. When I'm doing my face, I still have it. It points out in the middle of nowhere because obviously you're working backwards, but I've still got to have it come out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Emily, they're picking on the they're pick, picking on my pinky finger. Oh. They're mean. So they're gonna pick on their own pinky finger. Yeah, go pick on your own pinky fingers. <laughs> Don't drop your drugs, eh? <laughs> you say, hey, Andy. Hello, Andy. Even though she's picking on my pinky finger too. Well, I'm pick I'm picking on your spot, Angie. Oh, yeah, she's sitting in your seat, Angie. Whoa, do not that be fine. She's sitting in Angie's seat. All right. Okay. I want a yellow green. Okay, Casper. Casper's like, whatever, I want you to just go away. Yellow chartreuse. Look at that. That's what I want. I want a yellow chartreuse. A yellow chartreuse. <laughs> Uh, yellow Shatrusha. Okay, I got her. Sorry. <laughs> I'm more self conscious of my little pinky finger now. Here's a flower. Here's a flower. Here's a flower. So I had a screen. I don't know. She's keeping it warm. <laughs> Angie's like, you're keeping it warm. Yeah, because it's freaking cold. Oh, I've got to show you a picture of the river this morning. Sorry. 
I'm going off showing showing the picture of the river as well um, to Emily. I don't know. I'll show you guys again because I don't think you all saw it this morning. But look at look at the look at the fog on the back. Oh, How cool it. did that look? does yeah. that look? It looks eerie. That's so cool. Yeah. So this is this is my river this morning, and it's like all of the fog coming up off it. It just looks so cool with the sunrise and stuff. But yeah. Um, Oh, it sucks to have to work. Your oinky is five thanks. Oink, oink. It's going to be a, a yellow belly. Not a red belly. Cool story. It is beautiful, Roni. I am um, no Shelley. So it will flood here, but it won't come up anywhere near my house. Um, this one. So, as in the, the river will totally flood, but I'm. I'm fine. It would have to be a major, major, beyond major flood for this house to flood. It's right at the top of the bank. Um, but, yeah, Roni, I am very, very lucky where I live. Um, I, I'm, I, as I say to people all the time, I'm very lucky that I, I get to live in paradise and, um, and I get to enjoy that and I'm thankful for that. All right, um, I moved <laughs> the other day. I moved the lounge chairs around because I we don't watch TV. We rarely sit in the lounge and watch TV in this house. So I moved I moved my recliner around so that um, it actually just looks straight out my the window now, like out the door down onto the river. And it was chilly, so I've got on this crochet blanket, and I'm like, I legit look like a grandma. But yeah, so I moved it out, moved the thing around so that um, it, I actually look out. I can sit in the recliner now and just look out the front, out there. I'm like, much makes more sense. So, um, uh, all right, what to come in with? Do I come in with you? No. I'm going to come in with no. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might come in with you. Yeah, shall I? It's. As I, said, as I said to, I can't, I won't ever be able to afford to buy this house. So when I hopefully raise enough money to actually buy my own house, um, I'm going to have to downgrade. It's kind of sad, but it's just what it is. Um, but I'm going to enjoy it while I live here. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm going to come in with Tuscan Red. Um. 
Yeah, but it was like I picked up that crocheted blanket at the op shop the other day for like I don't know, five bucks. It is, it's gorgeous. I was like, yes, please. Cute. Uh, Alyssa, with Lotto, Angie. But, um, if I won Lotto, I'd actually buy this house. It's it, I could you couldn't think of an, an I wouldn't think of a nice spot to live. Um, and the fact that it's got the apartments and all downstairs, like the independent areas downstairs, it's just perfect. Yeah. Oh, oh, knocking stuff. Knocking stuff over. <sighs> actually i i am um i'm looking forward to seeing it when it's a raging river because it would look fantastic but you'd be surprised the like the floods that we've had this season in in, in my old house the flood would have come up to obviously my house it's not as like loud as you think. It's actually really quiet. Yes, you hear the water moving, but you don't hear the birds and you don't hear the traffic and you don't everything else around you has stopped. So it becomes eerily quiet. It's um it's it's weird to kind of describe. Did you see Winchester before? <laughs> um, the yeah, well, it's. I guess the thing is, is we, we because the Mary, like the river I'm on, is actually quite a slow moving river. Um, we get plenty of warning. Um, we don't, as in flash flooding, doesn't really happen. So you get plenty of time to get yourself to safety and um, and things. So if you're not silly, there's very small chance of um, losing lives and stuff. Um, you know, obviously property gets damaged, but... And our SES, our emergency services and stuff, are so, so fantastic that it's not unsafe unless you choose for it to be unsafe because we get plenty of warning. Yes. Is the river in Brisbane like a different river? Yeah, it's a Brisbane river. This is Mary River. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um. Yeah, the insects stop, the, everything stops until it starts proceeding. Oh, it's crazy how much rain we've had this year. But um, Sunette was saying the other day that even South Africa is flooded and stuff. I think it's just El Nino, um, La Nina or whatever it is. We're in a, we're in a wet cycle of the, of the climate. But, yeah, it, it's just crazy. 
Like I was out at my dad's and because of the way his land is, it'd been weeks since like main rain and it was the ground was still soaking. All right. Now I'm going to come in with, I'm trying to figure out what green I want to use. Let's go grass green. Yeah, the weather's just been crazy everywhere. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a very cold winter. Um, it's going to be a short winter. Because I was looking on um, one of my Facebook feeds popped up the other day and it was me having fire, the fireplace going and stuff, and I'm like, it hasn't gotten cold enough to even consider that. But the rain has um, kept things warmer for longer. No thanks. But you can go go nuts. Yeah, I'm just like I have a cold drink, so that would yeah, sounds good. Try to be at least a bit quiet. Please. Jerry had a fire yesterday. Really? Wow, what happened? But I only found out the other day with us with the our rural fire brigade is they actually don't get like with our SES our emergency services if they're called because it's voluntary if they're called out from their jobs they still get paid by their jobs the government reimburses their jobs. Um, oh, in the fireplace. Oh, he had fight. Right, I've got you. Um, they get reimbursed, but the rural fire brigade don't get reimbursed. So when they take time away from their work. They don't get paid for that. And I'm like, no, that's that's not okay. So I will be um, putting forth that that's just stupidity. They um, and he, they were saying that in um, the fires a few years ago, like our major bushfires and stuff, a lot of people nearly went like bankrupt, broke, because they couldn't work because they were fighting fires and... Um, I'm like, that's just not okay. I'm like, why is one emergency service compensated and another one not? No. They're putting their lives at risk for the community. I'm like, hmm.
They say it gets cold when they're down here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you're a Yeah, but you're like, yeah. I must admit, since I've lost weight, I, I my body's never adapted. So I feel the cold. Mind you, not as bad as some. I feel it more than I used to. All right. So we're getting there slowly. We'll get this dragon done and, um, and that'll be it, I think. All right, dark green. Thanks. Thanks, Shell. I don't know. I'm just having fun. I'm looking forward to going back and seeing your your stream with Renee. That'll be later today. Hey, look, I rhymed. Uh, 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 Renee, today. Yeah. Ha -ha. If you're wondering what the sound is, um, what's that youngest? Georgia is cooking eggs in the kitchen. So. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. I could imagine. And, and she would have been like, oh, I was scared that I've forgotten how to do it. And I'm sure it turned out amazing. Sunny side up. <laughs> she did offer to cook us some. I was like, yeah, no. Too early for real food. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jamie. Um, I'm just putting pencils to a page. And pretty good eggs. Oh, nice. Is that it? I thought you were making toast as well. Legit just eggs. Yeah. Okay. Go for it.
Every day I'm coloring. Oh, that's what's coming to my head just then instead of shuffling. Every day I'm coloring. Oh, is that what the challenge was? One color. Could you use different shades of the one color? Or was it like one color, completely one pencil? One color only in a black and a white. Oh, nice. What color did you choose? Or weren't you, or were you, was it picked for you? I love Renee's challenges. She gets you thinking outside the box. Right, I'm going to come back in with that Tuscan red. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, ladybug. Ladybug, black widows. How's Canada treating you? I'm looking forward to seeing now that spring has come. I'm getting some butterflies, pictures of photos of butterflies and all of the goodness. Well, summer, you know what I mean? Spring, summer, that kind of stuff. Uh, uh. Oh, it's Ashley's challenge. Well, there you go. Nice challenge. But I remember, I think it was you that did the one pencil challenge. I really enjoyed that. I did um, a mm, who was it? Teresa. Um, oh, I just realised I got crap down on the floor here. Sorry. Um, Teresa Goodrich won and did it with a sepia kind of tone. I loved that. It was like one pencil. Fun. I think it was you that did that. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Heather, we're fine. We, we got through three floods this season. <laughs> we're all good. We're old hands at it now. It's like, yeah, whatever. The last flood, it was like, it was only a minor flood. And we're like, Pff. mind you, getting home was not fun because I was actually out of town. So that took a while. But, um, yeah, no, we're all good. Everything's just wet, as you could imagine. Like the ground, I think, is just wet, wet, wet. But means everything is beautiful and green too. Usually by now in winter, everything's started to brown off and, you know, the lawn has gotten a bit browner and stuff. But it's, um, she's lovely. Kangaroos are well fed, let's put it this way. They're looking mightily fat out there on the reserve.
All right, I'm going to come back over with that. Uh, I'm going to come over with the chartreuse, actually. Just to mush it all together. I like to mush it. Smush it all in. Ah, you use your free purple. Now you've got that. <laughs> Mark, now you've got that every day on shuffling stuff in my head. Yeah, every day I'm shuffling. Sorry. Um, yeah, the the kangaroos are very randy. There's lots of joeys at the moment. Let's put it this way. There's lots of babies being made because they're well fed and they're plentiful. So they're like, hey, let's procreate while times are good. I don't think the, the female kangaroos are um, too pleased, however. They kind of just leave me alone. Like to smush, smush, like to smush. Every day I'm shuffling. So now in my head is I like to smush it, smush it. You like to smush it, smush it. Hey. This is what happens in my head. I'm just saying there's no rhyme or reason for my brain. It is just crazy. I really do question my sanity sometimes. But as they say, if you are insane, you might not even know it because you, you've got, you're insane. So, I, 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 who knows? Helicopter. Oh no, no, it's not. Sounds like a snare of some sort. All right. All right. I've got Tuscan red out, so I might as well do it while I'm here, eh? Let's do these tongues. And then come in with a bit of black. And lots of pencil I've got out. Yeah, they. 50% warm grey. Oh, I missed a bit here. <sighs> Missed his eyebrow. Anyone would think we're um, I'm doing a pro a, a portrait. All right. Normal is boring. See, normal is boring. Let's bring you out 
to the page as it's looking now. We need me on copyrighted music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I fully got MASH Central going in my head at the moment. I should just go uh, to all your... Um, uh, the Blue Ladybug. Oh, yeah. You should go to all your, all your lives and just make a compilation of all of the songs that you have. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And, uh, oh, the Blue Strike Bees, they, they should be coming back. We've got we've to put out the Wildflower Mix, Angie, and get all that going. And, um, yeah, all right. So there, there, there is the, it's looking, um, we'll come back next week and do them dudes and background. But, um, oh, show, I did show the Zox. Normal is boring. I did show it. Um, yeah. And I've even got the card that goes with this is on my um, lanyard, my school lanyard now. So it's on my school keys too. And, um, oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining me today. I do appreciate it. Um, we're, we're getting there slowly with, um, with the, the curviness. But um, yeah, it's, 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 he's getting there. He's getting there. All right, I will um, catch you all on the next time, and um, look after yourselves and stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye.